Dear child of God, it's such a joy to meet you through this uh, time where we meditate on the word of God and receive amazing insights that can bless your life. One thing I've realized over time is there is nothing as powerful as the word of God and the presence of the Holy Spirit. Today, I want to continue with uh, the series that we have been, How to Hear the Voice of God. One of the prime ways God speaks is through dreams. In fact, I shared in the past that uh, the Lord speaks uh, through prophecies and uh, He speaks uh, through visions and he, now He speaks also through dreams. And above all, he speaks through the word of God and he speaks in our hearts. So today we're going to see about how he speaks through the dreams. In case you missed uh, the past uh, teachings, you can go to the YouTube, uh, our YouTube channel, which is being displayed right now. And if you're watching through the YouTube channel, you have the so you can also uh, watch the previous messages. If you have not subscribed, please, I welcome you to subscribe. The scripture talks about three different kinds of dreams. And these are dreams by night. Dreams are basically those uh, which happen or which come when we are sleeping. Uh, there is always another kind of dream called as daydreaming. We're not talking about daydreaming, but this is uh, dreams by night. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 3, three kinds of dreams. Number one is, uh, the scripture says that a dream comes through the multitude of business. That means, uh, the margin quote says, effort or activity. When somebody is extremely busy, extremely working hard, and then when he sleeps, uh, he might get dreams because still his mind is working. Uh, he's not still resting. That is one kind of dreams which have not much or for that matter, not any kind of spiritual significance. Uh, maybe uh, what we can perceive is that the person should try to take some rest and uh, take things a bit easy. But there are uh, the other two kinds of dreams. The second one is uh, dreams uh, that come through demonic uh, forces. When a child of God has not guarded his spiritual life, he is careless about his spiritual life, he's not praying, he's not uh, careful about what kind of things he does, where he goes, and uh, if he is uh, not living the right life, then demonic spirits can also bring dreams, which are in fact disturbing, which are evil. And uh, somebody who gets such kind of dreams should take it serious, set their spiritual life right, or even if they are right, but they are not guarded. Because the Bible says, don't give room to the devil. So such people should really uh, seek God, seek uh, godly counsel how to deal with such dreams. I know people who have all kinds of evil dreams, in spite of being believers, I've met them and uh, they need to be taken through uh, counseling of the word of God and things have to be set right. And uh, we need to even sometimes fast and pray to break some demonic uh, oppression. So that is uh, dreams that come through demonic uh, spirits. But uh, God speaks to us and uh, he speaks to us in dream. So those are the dreams that come through the Holy Spirit, that come through the Spirit of God. Joel chapter 2 verse 28 talks about such dreams that uh, when the Spirit of God is poured upon all flesh, the Bible says that the old men shall see dreams. 
uh, old men shall see dreams. Now, the Bible does not restrict dreams to just old people because we see Jacob in uh, the book of Genesis when he was running away as a young man. Uh, he had a beautiful heavenly dream uh, which we read in the scripture. A ladder was placed from earth touching heaven and angels were ascending and descending and God was on the top and he gave Jacob a beautiful promise. And right from that day, something started happening in Jacob's life. So he was a young man while he still received this powerful dream, which uh, later turned out to be his uh, very life. So uh, dreams can come to the uh, young, to the old, to any child of God. God speaks through dreams. And uh, I want to share with you just a few insights about uh, the dreams that God speak to us or the, the Lord uh, send, uh, sends to us. In the book of Isaiah uh, 26, if you read verse 9, talks about with my soul have I desired you in the night. With my spirit within me will I seek you early. Now, this is uh, Isaiah, the prophet, and he's talking about his prophetic experience that in the night, uh, his soul was desiring God. Or in other words, uh, his soul was open. The spirit man was open uh, to God. So when we go to sleep, it's good that we pray, uh, we go to sleep, um, asking God to cover us with his presence asking the blood of Jesus to cleanse us. So when we sleep that way, body is resting, part of the mind may be working, but the spirit man is open, which means God can communicate to uh, you through your spirit by sending a dream when you sleep. So the spirit man is awake when you sleep. Even your mind can be resting. The spirit is awake all the day, all the time. Um, in Song of Solomon, uh, it, it says that I slept, but my heart was awake. You know, that's the experience. You sleep physically. You may even sleep in your mind, uh, but your spirit is awake. People call it a subconscious, but... The conscious is actually the spirit part of a man. Now, uh, a few insights about dreams from the Lord, how to understand it, uh, understand them. Uh, number one, we see in the life of Joseph, the son of Jacob, he received uh, dreams when he was uh, still very young, like 16, 17, and uh, uh, people started calling him the dreamer, the dreamer. And obviously it was God who sent the dreams to Joseph. We read about that in Genesis 37. Please uh, take your Bible later and uh, read. So two different dreams comes and uh, uh, the, the whole essence of the dreams was Joseph was in the center, his brother's and even his father and mother, they were bowing before him. And this was not given directly. Uh, it was like an image, uh, like Joseph's uh, a sheaf was in the center. The harvest which his brothers had done was around. They were bowing to Joseph. So the dream repeated once again, but in a different way. Um, Joseph was in the center, or his star was in the center, the other stars and the sun and the moon which is his brothers and uh, his family. Uh, they were bowing to Joseph. So obviously the dream was speaking about uh, Joseph though being the last born at that time, the 11th born. He would uh, see promotion. God would promote him to be the head. And it happened. So what do we understand? Why it was Joseph who received the dream? 
those who was chosen by God. So God sends you his dreams because you're chosen by him. Not only that, uh, Joseph had a, a clean heart. He had a good heart. That is something that we find in Joseph's life. Even later on, uh, he was, because he was so pure, true in his heart, his brothers hated him. Even Potiphar's wife hated him because he had a clean heart. He wanted to be pure. So it's good. We have a we we maintain a clean heart. Scripture says, "Blessed are the pure in heart." Matthew five, and uh, for they shall see God. Not that we are perfect. It's good that we cleanse our heart. Or we try to keep ourselves pure in our heart, in our mind, even before we go to sleep, asking God to cleanse us, searching our heart and uh, confessing anything which is not right. These are ways of how we can maintain a pure heart. And uh, God can send his dreams and speak to us. Secondly, we see in uh, the, the story of Joseph that uh, God sent the dreams two by two. Joseph had two dreams. Later on, uh, Pharaoh had two dreams. And all these dreams were like confirmation. Job chapter 33 verse 14. Uh, when you read it, you see that God uh, sp spoke once, uh, but it, you know he speaks also twice. But he speaks the same thing. So he repeats to confirm. Psalm 62 verse 11 tells about the same thing. So we can always ask God for confirmation. When one dream comes, ask God to confirm it. And he'll send the dream again or in a different way. Or somebody in your family can have a dream the second time. Or he can speak to you through a word. So ask for confirmation and he will, uh, which is so very important. Then uh, another thing that we see about the dream in the scripture is God sends his dreams to guide us, even to warn us. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 2, if you see, uh, God guided Joseph, the husband of Mary, when Joseph really wanted to divorce Mary, not knowing that she was conceived by the Holy Spirit. It was through a dream God spoke to him to take Mary as his wife and Joseph accepted. And again, if you, if you see, uh, God warned Joseph through a dream that Herod, uh, King Herod was seeking the death of the child. And uh, just overnight, Joseph, so sensitive to the spiritual, that he took his wife, he took his child and ran away to Egypt. And after a few years, it was another dream. And the angel uh, said, now you can go back to Israel because uh, the people who are seeking his death have been uh, removed from their place or they have died. So Joseph brings a little boy, Jesus, back to uh, Nazareth where he grows up. So all these things... Uh, we can understand that God uh, guides his children and even maybe warns his children uh, through dream. So take those dreams seriously, you know, the dreams that come from God, take it very seriously. Finally, I want to um, uh, say that through dreams that come from God, God can actually impart a gift. Something can happen right when you are dreaming. Uh, if you read uh, the life of Solomon, and he was a young man, and uh, he was asking, uh, you know, he was he gave a lot of sacrifices to God that day, and that night, uh, God appears to him in a dream, and he asks Sol Solomon, what, what do you want, uh, Solomon? And uh, that was a dream. That's not a vision. Solomon was sleeping. <laughs> sleeping can be so powerful. And uh, Solomon says, I want wisdom. Now, just imagine, right in the sleep, Solomon is speaking, 
it was Solomon's spirit which was speaking. That's why it's important how we maintain our heart, our own spirit. And God blessed him not only with superhuman wisdom, but every other blessing. It happened. The gift was imparted right during the dream. It can happen to you. Some spiritual gift can be imparted to you. So dreams are very powerful. They are medium through which God can communicate with us. I pray that even as we look to the Lord today, God will give you that grace to receive divine dreams, to interpret, understand divine dreams, and to be blessed through divine dreams. That even whatever you are facing, the challenge right now in your life, you will find a solution through God speaking to you. There have been times in my life when uh, I've been praying about certain things and uh, while sleeping in a dream, God showed me how to solve that problem. And when I did that, it was sorted out. So God is a faithful God. He is more than, uh, you know, human beings. And uh, you have supernatural power to experience all these things if you're a child of God, when you put your trust in Christ. So I want to pray with you that the Lord will do it for you. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful day and thank you for helping us to meditate on your word, to listen to your word. Especially, Lord, that you are God who speaks and the Lord, you speak to us through your dreams. I pray for your children who have been listening to this teaching and uh, as they heard your word, I pray that this word uh, will become flesh, will begin to act in their lives and they will begin to have heavenly dreams and they will begin to understand your language and they will receive direction and receive guidance, you will protect them, you will even impart spiritual blessings to them, O oh God. I pray for anybody who has been harassed by demonic dreams, I pray through the blood of Jesus they will be set free in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, that from today a new avenue will open to them, that they will begin to hear you and understand you through which they can see breakthroughs in their spiritual life, in their physical, in their financial, and in their ministry, in everything that they do. Let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. It was a, a pleasure to bring you the Word of God, whatever God had taught me. I have not read this in any books. It's just from uh, the Lord. So please, if you want to listen to this teaching again and again, it's very good. Uh, I would want you to do that because that's a good idea you have. Um, listen to this in the YouTube. Please share this uh, with your friends, with somebody who uh, has been talking to you about dreams. Uh, share this with them and uh, it can be a blessing to somebody. And we'll meet again. Till then. May God's grace bless you. May you hear and understand the voice of God. God bless you, my friend. I believe this prophetic word will, uh, will have blessed you and will continue to bless you. And I want to share with you a good news that I've done a book on how to develop a consistent prayer life, especially personal prayer. Sometimes we can pray together with people, but praying alone is a challenge. So... Uh, how to develop a consistent prayer life and how to pray till we see answers. This book comes out of almost uh, uh, great times in prayer and uh, meditating, studying on the word and the truths that I've learned for myself. So the book is called as Winning by Resting. Please contact us. Uh, the, our numbers are on the screen. Email is there. Write to us of how you can get the book and we can help you. You can even go Amazon dot 
in uh, Amazon.com, BarnesandNobles.com. Uh, you can uh, order the book and it will be a great blessing to you. It's available as hardcover, soft copy and also the Kindle digital version. Go online today, get your copy or write to us. We'll help you and it will be a great blessing to you. If you're struggling, if you desire to have a powerful personal prayer life, this book is for you. So we'll meet again next week. Until then, May God's grace be with you. Share this message with all of your friends today as you uh, end watching this video. Like us, subscribe us and share this video. It can be a blessing to many and you can be a tool to take this blessing to someone who needs to hear this. God bless. If you are looking for answers amidst life's challenges, winning by resting, by Pastor Paul Moses Ratnam. No one can comprehend the beauty of an answer from God. An engaging book on how to unleash the power of resting. Real turnaround stories of real people that will inspire you to live above the natural and help you raise from the struggle in personal prayer. Seize your destiny beyond the pain of the past. Hear the voice of God in your spirit. Be in charge of the miraculous. Cultivate the practice of prayer. Available in hardcover, paperback and ebook. Get your copy at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Westbow Press and FountainofCompassion.org.